in this warm-up, we are just multiplying. So you don't need to worry about flipping any fractions over. That's only a process used in division. So don't forget about the invisible one. 1 times 20 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5. Now this does change the whole number. You could also think about it as reducing, but this is a perfectly acceptable answer in my class. 10 times 3 is 30. 1 times 5 is 5. Go ahead and complete the remaining problems as well. In this exercise, we are trying to figure out whether it's true or false. Now, we leave, change it to multiplication, and flip this fraction over, which would be 3 over 1. And that is the same as 3. So this one is true. Here, same type of deal, 4 times, this is 3 over 1, so when we flip it upside down, it should be 1 over 3. This one is also true. In this one, you see that they flipped the first fraction. We don't ever flip the first fraction, so this one is false. This one. They had divided by 1 fourth, so that would be times, and we would flip it to 4 over 1, which is the same as just regular 4. So this one is true. This one, it was 4 over 1, and they changed it to 1 over 4. So this is also true. Here you can see. The first fraction is flipped, so this is false. This one is true. This one would also be true. In lesson 10, we're focusing on the invert and multiply strategy. We've been calling this leave change change. They mean the same thing. Invert means flip it over, multiply instead of divide. Here we are dividing one-third by four-fifths, which we can think of as one-third is four-fifths of what number? So we have five boxes, four of them are underlined, and it takes up one-third. If we split one-third into four boxes, that would put a twelfth in each one. So our final answer, the entire tape diagram, is worth 5 twelfths. By inverting and multiplying, we change this to 1 third times 5 fourths. You can see here they've split 1 fourth times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 1 is 4. So they've just separated out this into two steps, but it still gives us the same answer. In this problem, we are going to calculate the coefficient using a tape diagram and then using the leave change change strategy. So we thought of this as two thirds is three fourths of what number? So we're going to draw four boxes and underline three of them, which is represented by two thirds. Two thirds split into three boxes. That's the same as two thirds times one-third, or two-ninths in each box, or we can think of this as creating an equivalent fraction. If I'm trying to split it in three boxes, let's multiply by three. Two times three is six, three times three is nine. Now I can split six equally into three parts, which would give me two-ninths in each one. 
two, four, six, eight ninths. Using the invert and multiply, we change it to times, change it to the flipped over version. Two times four is eight, three times three is nine. We get the same answer. Here in number two, let's write out what this would become. Five times seven over six. We saw in an earlier problem that we could separate the fraction out as five times seven times one sixth. We could separate this out into two steps. So I'm going to look for ones that are true, ones that match what I see here. The first one, 5 times 7, 6, I see down here in part E. 5 times 7 times 1, 6, I see here in part C. D is incorrect because they changed to multiplication, but they did not flip the second fraction. Another way that we can think of it is multiplying by 1 sixth is the same as dividing something by 6, which we see here in part B. A has those mixed up, so that would be representing 6 sevenths instead of 7 sixths. So we want these three circled because those are the ones that are true. This is a whiteboard exchange that we would be doing in class. And essentially what you would do is you would solve and then hold up your answer so we could check if they are correct. So on this lesson, you can pause, try the problem on your own, and then click play to see if your answer is correct. Pause between each question and then check if you've done it correctly. Number three, Riley explains to her friend that 5 6 divided by 3 fourths is 15 20 fourths because 5 6 times 3 is 15 sixths and 15 sixths times 1 fourth equals 15 20 fourths. Explain any errors Riley made. If we were to start to solve this problem, we would do 5 sixths times 4 thirds, which we could separate into two problems or two separate pieces. We could say that that was the same as 5 6 times 4, which would be 26. And then we could do 26 times 1 third, which would give us 20 over 18. But that's not what she has. Instead of using 4 thirds or 4 and 1 third, she used 3 and one-fourth, which indicates that Riley did not 
split the second fraction. Or she did not invert the second fraction. Number four, Leo says two fifths divided by seven ninths is 35 eighteenths because two fifths divided by seven ninths is the same as five over two times seven ninths. If we were to leave, change, change, we would get 18 over 35. But you can see here, this, is not what Leo wrote. He has 5 over 2 instead of 2 over 5, and he did not flip the second fraction. So Leo flipped the first fraction. Instead of The second. Make sure your warm up and your workbook are filled in for today's lesson.